Let's create the integration process in Data Spider Savista. Please launch Data Spider Savista. Since the software is client server model, launch Data Spider Server first and then the client, Data Spider Studio. There are two ways to launch Data Spider Server. One is by service registration in the OS, which can be chosen when installing and the other is executing the process directly. Let's use the second way this time. Open Data Spider Vista 4.2 from the Windows Start menu and select Data Spider Server. The console is launched. Confirm at the bottom of the console whether it shows Data Spider Server was successfully started. Please take note that the server will be shut down if you close the console. Next, start the client, Data Spider Studio. Same as before, open Data Spider Servista 4.2 from the Start menu and click on Data Spider Studio. The module sync had started. After installed, the first sync will take some time, and the login window will be shown when completed. Input root as the username and password as the password. Click Login to continue. When logging is successful, you will see the console of the studio. Development of integration process will be created from this console. There are icons at the left side of the console. You can call each respective console from these icons. This hands-on demonstration shows how to read data from Excel process and write to CSV. The input data was downloaded in advance and stored in data folder. The processing we will show you now is to narrow down the data by classification code and write 1001 data only to CSV. Data integration processing is managed by a unit or project. We will create scripts to describe the actual integration process in projects. Let's begin. Double-click the new project icon at the upper left in the Studio console. The console for creating new project is shown. Keep the project name as the default. Confirm if the Create Script checkbox is selected. Click Next. This console is for setting the script name. Keep the script name as the default and click Finish. Wait for a while. It shows the Designer Console. The Project Explorer located on the upper left shows the created project and scripts in a tree structure. You can manage the project and scripts here. The white area in the center is called Script Canvas. You can create integration processes here by locating the icons. The icons you will see can be chosen from the tool palette at the right side. It is classified by categories such as basic and conversion. When you open the folder, you can see the process icons. You can create integration processes by dragging and dropping these icons onto the script canvas. Let's create a process for reading the Excel data. Drag and drop the Read from Sheet icon onto the canvas from the File, Excel, and the Tool palette. It shows the property console for reading the Excel data. Set the icon name as default. Choose the file name to read. Click the Browse button at the right and set to slash data slash order dot Excel. As for the sheet name, choose Sheet 1 from the drop-down menu. Next, specify the reading range. Choose Open Excel Wizard under the sheet name. The console shows Starting Excel Wizard. Look at the taskbar below. Please choose the highlighted Excel icon. In the Excel window, it shows the dialog of the Excel Read Wizard. Click the Select button at the upper right. Another window will appear to specify the reading range. Drag from B12 Older Number to L17, 
1580 and click OK. The setup is reflected on Reading Starting Cell, Column List, and Reading and Condition. Click Finish to close the dialog. We are back at the Property Console for reading the process. Check the column list. The item names are added in the column name. Open the Read Settings tab. The capture data was specified including the title row to get the column name. However, the actual data to be used will be the data row from only the second row onwards. So check Do not get the first row as value to skip reading the title row. The configuration is complete. Click Finish to close the window. The icon is located on the script canvas. Let's set up writing the CSV. Open the file CSV in the tool palette. Drag and drop the write CSV file icon onto the script canvas. Here's a property console of the writing operation. Set the name as default. Choose Excel underscore sheet from the drop-down menu as the input data and slash data slash output dot CSV as the file name. Select the data structure from the column list. You can manually choose the items as well, but it takes some time when there are many column names. In this case, the header file prepared in advance can also be used. Let's add the file. Choose Read Column Names from First Row of Files at the lower right. Choose the header file, header.csv, and the column name will be set in the column list. Configuration is now complete. After clicking the Finish button, it shows the Confirmation Console for adding mappings. This mapping means the mapper function to convert and process data. Click Yes, and the mapper icon will be located between Excel underscore sheet and CSV underscore right. Double click to open the icon. The left side of the mapper window shows the Excel data structure, and the right side shows the CSV data structure. Data Spider Server will automatically read these data structures. The center line shows the data flow. Mapping the input and output data is automatically done by Data Spider Server. Since the input and output data structures are same in this demo, there is no issue for doing automatic mapping. If they are different, you can drag from the input side to the output side to change the mapping. The data processing is also iconized and stored in the two palette dedicated for mapper. The two palette is dedicated for the mapper, and there are approximately 140 types of converter icons prepared. Let's conduct the data processing. Create a process to abstract data with classification code 1001 only among the data captured from Excel. The icon on the top is called Iterate Specified Node. It captures all input and output data. Since we want to abstract the data, which matches the specified condition only at this time, delete this icon by right-clicking the mouse. Next, open the loop condition loop in the two palette and put the if loop icon onto the canvas. Unlike the previous icon, there are two lines from the icon. These lines are called handler. The upper handler specifies the factor from the input source, and the bottom handler specifies the condition on the canvas. Map the input side row as the factor, and then map to the output side row. Set up the condition. To specify classification code 101, drag and drop the single line string constant icon onto the canvas from the string basic in the two palette.
Double-click the icon and enter 101 in the single line string. The required setup is finished. Just for you to understand the role of this icon, enter the same content in the comment. Drag and drop the identical icon onto the canvas from the condition string in the tool palette. This icon also has two handlers, which compares if the defined strings are the same. Map the classification code from the input data with identical icon. Then map the defined single line string constant icon with the identical icon. In this way, a process has been created to check if the classification code matches 101. Map this output result as the condition of if loop icon. In this way, the record will be extracted only when the classification code is 101. The mapping configuration is complete. Close the mapper window from the upper tab and return to the designer console. All the process icons to be used for this demonstration are here. Excel Sheet, Mapping, and CSV Write. Now let's connect these from start to end in the order of processing. Drag the start icon to the Excel underscore sheet icon and drop when you see a dotted line. A solid line is drawn, which is called process flow and defines the order of the integration process. Yellow and black lines are already drawn between the Excel underscore sheet and the mapping icon. This means a solid line and a yellow dotted line are overlapped. The black line is a process flow which you have just drawn, means the order of processing. The yellow dotted line is called data flow and defines the flow of data. Since the black line is already drawn, you don't need to draw a line this time. Lastly, connect the process flow from CSV underscore right to end. This completes all integration processing. Let's conduct a test to see whether the processes can be successfully executed. Click the bug icon above the start icon to start script debug execution. The execution is successful when you see the message succeeded to run script. Confirm the result from the execution log. There is no error. Next, open the output file and confirm if the writing was successful. Open the Studio menu at the lower left, choose Explorer, and open the output.csv. Only the data with classification code 101 is written. The test was successful. Let's execute the processing by using Schedule Trigger which will be launched at the specified time. In this case, you need to register the project so that the script can be called from the outside. In the Designer Console, choose Register Project at Service from the File menu. Since you haven't saved the project, please choose Yes in the confirmation window. It now shows the Service Registration window. The default service name is username at project name. Click the Finish button. You have successfully registered a service. Click OK to close the message window. Set up the scheduled trigger. Choose My Trigger from the Studio menu and choose Create New Scheduled Trigger at the top of My Trigger task at the left side of the console. The Schedule Setup window appears. Since we want to execute the processing once a day at a fixed time, choose Daily and click Next. Keep the trigger name as the default. Set the time to execute the processing in execution start time. Since the current time is set here, set the time to 3 minutes later. 
The configuration you created is shown in Explanation of Above Setting. Confirm and click Next. You can set up the holiday actions here. Keep it as a default and click Next. The final step is the execution content settings. Let's set up the services and scripts to execute here. Confirm if the root at project is set as the service name, script as the script name, and click Finish. When it shows trigger enabling confirmation, click Yes. Once it is registered, the registered contents are shown in the list. When it is a scheduled time, the process will be executed. To confirm the file executed from the trigger, let's change the file name of the execution result executed in the Designer Console earlier. Open the Explorer from the Studio menu at the lower left and select the output.csv. Right-click the mouse and choose Rename to change the name. Let's wait until the trigger starts. Time to start. The execution result of the trigger can be confirmed from last executed data and last execution result in the My Trigger list. Refresh the console by selecting the Refresh by right-click or from the View menu. Since last execution result shows succeeded, the processing was successful. Let's confirm the file gain. Open the Explorer and check if there is output.csv. The processing was successful. This is the end of the DataSpider Savista demonstration.